Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's quick video, I wanna cover with you um, how do you apply data source filters in Tableau Desktop? Also, what are they? Why do they matter? Why should you care? Let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, so I've just got a worksheet here called Sales by Year that we're gonna use as an example. You can see right now it's just showing sales 2020 through 2023. Uh, if I pop back to my data source tab, um, you may have seen this, but never really bothered to explore it, which is totally fair. Um, there's a little section up here that talks about filters. So data source filters is one of the very first things to hit in Tableau's order of operations. Um, so if I went to the data source filters and selected add, and then let's say I said add, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a filter based on year. So I will say order date, years, and then let's say here I just I don't want to keep data from 2020. I'm like, ah, eh, that year was messed up. Uh, we're only going to keep 2021 moving forward. So I'm going to go ahead and exclude 2020 and say, okay. Okay. So what's interesting here is notice that right now there's about 10,000 rows in the table of data that we're connected to. But after this filter applies, let me hit okay. Now that drops down to about 8,000 rows. And if I pop over to my sales by year worksheet, you'll notice that that 2020 uh, bar is totally gone because that data has been filtered out. Um, so first of all, this is, if there's missing data and you don't know why somebody else has created this workbook, this is a good place to check to see if they filtered out data. Um, but this can also be a really nice way for you to manage how much data that you're bringing into your Tableau desktop workbook, right? A lot of times, you know, I've, I've had situations where I've worked with clients where there's 20, 30, maybe even 40 years worth of data, and we only really care about what happened in the last five years. So this is a really nice way to be able to cull down the size of the table that you're working with, um, so you're not bringing in a bunch of excess data that might lead to performance issues. So I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, we've got an info button up here in the top corner that will link out to our upcoming classes. We run Tableau classes every single month, uh, from the beginners to intermediate Tableau desktop, beginner to advanced calculations, Tableau prep. Um, we'd love to have you join for one of those. And of course, we drop new videos here on the channel every single week. And we'd love to have you follow along for that as well. So thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next one.